Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe, but give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. I can't spit my words out. <laughs> And don't forget to turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes there will be some bonus videos in between if there's something really exciting that's going on. All right, all right lads. <laughs> Anyways, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today I'm going to be testing some Revolution kind of contour base products. Really excited to finally get around to trying these because these have been out for such a long time. And majority of these are actually launches that I managed at Revolution. If you don't know, I work for Revolution Monday to Friday, nine to five. I'm sick of saying this, but just in case, I don't get paid to make anything for my own YouTube, <laughs> my own social media. I'm filming this actually on my annual leave <laughs> on a Monday. I've actually got annual leave in and here I am filming Revolution content because it's just what I would have normally done anyway. I just love it, love life, I know what's. <laughs> live, laugh, love. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today but yeah today I'm going to be testing out quite a few different things that I've just not had a chance to get around to trying so I have already got my foundation on I'm testing the Relove super matte foundation I've got a little bit of lip balm on this is the revolution super dewy super balm absolutely love it amazing and I've put a tiny little bit of powder underneath my eyes just because I know that I'll just crease like mad throughout this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless flawless finish powder which is very well loved. And I just used a Trigwell Cosmetics Puff 2 thingy. That oh my god, by the time that you see this video, she'll have launched the little mini ones. I want the mini ones so bad, like so bad. I hope that they're either going on TikTok shop or on Beauty Bay because I will be buying them. And I got them ones off Beauty Bay as well. Today we're going to be testing one of the lip contour kits. I've got the full range here. I'm thinking doing like a little like double blush moment, like an ombre blush moment. So I can try both of these. So these are the blush bombs. I've tried one color so far, but obviously I haven't tried this one. It's still in the wrapper. And this is an extension of the Fast Base blushes. This is a new color. This one's in the shade Baby. Again, it's in its wrapper, hasn't been used. We're also gonna be trying the Fast Base Contour Stick. So I've got three different colors here. So we'll pick to see which one the best. I've got the contour and shadow crayons, which would be perfect for like lip and nose contouring. Really excited to try it for my nose because I'm normally so bad when it comes to my nose. I have the bullet brow in ash brown. I've got a couple of other shades just in case that one doesn't work. Again, this is my launch. So I have all the shades for it. This is the brow shape in wax. And then we also have the contour powder compacts. I've got them here. I've got, I think I've got fair, light and medium. So I'll see which colours are in here and whether I want to use them or not. I haven't decided yet. I probably will. And then last but not least, which I have tried once, despite the thing yet, this has only been used once. It's because I also used it for content for work. But we're going to be also trying the Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. I think what we'll start with first is... Do you know I think I might start with the Fast Base contour sticks so let's see what the color differences are this is what it looks like the only thing that really annoys me with these is they don't actually have the shade on the actual packaging so once i open these and throw away the box which is what i would do with every single <laughs> product i wouldn't keep the boxes i'm not gonna know which one is which so i'm gonna have to just hope that i remember i honestly should not be drinking a cup of tea whilst i'm filming because i'm sweating it's crazy how much a cup of tea completely changes my body temperature like it annoys me so much <laughs> so we have the lighter shade of fair i'm not going to be using that one because i've already done underneath my eyes then this one is the contour shade so that one's fair and then for light we have the highlight color just looks like this so creamy and then for the darker one it looks like this oh that seems like a bit of me and then let's go for medium so we have the light shade for medium which wouldn't be light enough for me obviously this one's a darker one and then oh but medium this is a very very nice color that i would use for thick tan so i'm gonna go in with the light one let's put the other two out of the way it's gonna be so confusing because once you took it out of the box you're not really gonna know what's actually that's like a, it looks a little bit too light actually maybe the medium one would be better see i've confused myself with these already i'm gonna go in a little bit with the 
medium one. Yeah, I think the medium one is more my shade, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. And I saw this little TikTok hack um, last night where you just do up until here for your contour and it's meant to help your double chin. I'm all up for any help with, with my double chin. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Revolution R8 angled foundation brush, which I absolutely love for cream products. Sorry if you can hear anything from outside, I've, I've had to open the window because my lord, it is boiling. Like I'm so ready for winter now, like for autumn, winter for it to get cooler. Like I'm just so over it. I'm so over the heat wave, I'm done with it. Okay, I am obsessed with that. It's definitely, the light's definitely way too light for me and it blends out so seamlessly that I can get away with the medium. So that is just what it looks like. Super, super creamy. Because I actually want it to be more bronze than that. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the cream bronzer. I'm gonna go in with a sponge. This one is the shade Light in the Ultra Cream Bronzer. And I feel like it's got more of that undertone where it'll sculpt you. Whereas I feel like the, the little sticks are better for that bronzeness. And then just using the brush again to blend that out the, honestly they just blend seamlessly together quite impressed by that it looks really harsh on camera but it's not in person like, like in person it looks like i could build it up but on camera it looks like it's quite harsh but it's really not okay i'm look how sculpted my cheek looks i'm actually obsessed with that i don't know why i look so orange on camera is my lighting gone funny or something i don't know but I'm obsessed with that. I think it looks really nice. So let's add some colour up in this joint. So I'm going to go in with a mixture, obviously, of the Blush Bomb. This is a liquid blush with vitamin E. And I'm going to be using the shade Peach Filter. And I'm going to start with... Oh my god, it's such a nice colour. I'm going to start with this in the outer part of my cheek here. And this is quite like... When I tried it the other day in a different colour, it's a very, like, serum-y blush. So it blends out, like it's really good if you're a bit scared of liquid blusher because it blends out really, really well. And you can build it up, but it's still quite natural when you build it up, like it's not super, super intense. So I just feel like it works really, really well. I'm just going to use the same brush because honestly, I just absolutely love this brush for like cream stuff. It just blends in like a dream. I mean, like it's just like a very natural. I mean, look at this, look at the shine. Shining, 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 shining. Because it is like a serum one, that's why. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to put some more on it. And I'm actually going to try it with a sponge. Just in case that brush has obviously a lot of cream bronzer on. I don't want it to be drowning out the blush. I'm just taking a Be Perfect sponge to blend that in. Yeah, I feel like that brush was like just covering it up with more contour. And then I'm going to take some of the Fast Base blush. This is something that you can actually use for your cheeks and your lips, so I can open it. This one's in the shade Baby, which is absolutely stunning. And with this, I'm actually going to work it in the back of my hand. Oh, that is beautiful. And I'm going to go in with the sponge and pick it up and then use that to apply it. That blush just smells really nice. <laughs> and I'm going to focus this more at like the front of my cheek oh my god that is such like a natural cute little flush little fleshy flush i would love to know because obviously these have been out for a while have you tried them yet like have you tried any of these products what are your thoughts did it work for you did it not work for you like let me know let me know down below i feel like as well with them contour sticks that really that smells so nice that fast base one i can just keep smelling it I feel like you could go in with the lighter one, not like sculpt underneath. It's hard to get them matching, isn't it? <laughs> but if I do that and then go in with a sponge, like that's just going to really, really like carve the contour out. It's like when people do it with powder, isn't it? So we have the little contour and shadow crayons. So I'll open Fair to Light. So that's what the... Oh, that looks really pretty. The highlighter one looks like. It's got like a... I don't know, it's not. I thought it was like a pink undertone, but it's not. It's like a peachy gold. And then this is what... Okay. The bronzer. 
looks like and that one's a shade fair to light and then let's see what the medium to tan one looks like and it has like a, a little thing in the back telling you like where you can apply it so you can also use it kind of like how you can use my vive eyeshadow stick things you could use it like in the crease you could use the highlighter like on your inner corner oh that would actually be really nice for your inner corner oh the tan one underneath the tan one doesn't look that much different does it oh but it's a really golden highlight but i feel like that that just looks very similar doesn't it i think they look very very similar maybe like a different okay maybe they've got like a different undertone but and like the tan one's a little bit more tanned but i don't feel like it's that much different i feel like the highlight is more of the bigger difference of that i don't know is that just me <laughs> but this is like just a little bit too too much too dark i'm gonna try Oh my god, this is scary because I've actually got a really wonky nose. <laughs> Blend it out. Oh, I'm so bad at nose contour. Like, oh my god. I'm so bad. I think the reason that I never really bother with it as well is it normally makes, when I put anything else on my nose that isn't literally foundation and powder, everything else that I put on just makes my foundation lift up. I'm going to pop a bit of foundation over that because that just did not work for me. I do think I'd rather go in with like the cream bronzer or the contour stick or something. Let's go in with the highlighter. So I'm going to pop this here and then a little bit on my tip. Which I think this is this is going to be one that I'm going to actually really like because actually I could just bend that in with my finger couldn't I? Because normally when I put highlight on I put way too much too much on my nose I feel like this is gonna make me do we like I feel like I just look like a tit do I look like a tit do I look normal I think I'm just not used to it you know I'm gonna move on from the nose contour because I'm just I'm going on about it a lot but I just don't feel like any type of nose co like contour works for me I just don't feel like it's for me so I powdered my face you can definitely see where that kind of blush bomb and the cream products like glow is coming through so let's try the bullet brow so this is the shade ash brown because i do have quite cool toned brows and it's meant to be a brow shape and wax it's a long lasting brow pomade which provides color definition and shape to the brows in addition to holding and setting the brows in place this is what it looks like i wish that the packaging was like more pinky i think that would have been so cute and then the inside looks like this and you get a little spoolie and you get a little brush as well so i'm just going to take a revolution r13 soap styler brush i'm just going to use this end because i don't need to use the soap styler end and i saw somebody i think it might be in lizzie who just used a brush to apply it i'm just going to try that because if i could apply a, a pomade that easily and have like really nice looking brows oh my god no no way i've had this in my drawer for so long and i could have had perfect brows like that just from that just from brushing it through obviously you're gonna have to like make sure you don't get that on your skin and whatnot but if i knew this i would have just done this before i put my foundation on are you joking oh i'm gonna have to tell lara's cars this i'm gonna have to make her watch this video this is just what the what the fuck you literally need the tiniest bit this is absolutely genius and then going in with my absolutely love like this is disgusting this is actually meant to be clear this is the revolution and love island brow gel but wow 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 i am absolutely gobsmacked by that <laughs> you're coming home with me <laughs> Thank you very much. And then I do have these to try, but I'm a little bit like um and ah about them because the colours in them, just some of them, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. So that one's the shade light, so you can see what she looks like. And then we have the shade medium, which looks like this, which is definitely not my colours. I probably would be able to wear the highlighter, obviously with me being like more bronze and stuff, but I'm, I'm hoping that I can just use one compact for everything so I don't have to like dip in between and hopefully that can help you choose your colour and then the other one that I have is Fair I'm sorry this video is so long I've actually just talked for England haven't I and then this one's a shade Fair 
which this it's this color in the fair one that really confuses me but then again i'm yellow tone so for me this is just completely unusable oh my god these are so soft the powders so this one is light and this one is fair and i think i actually prefer the undertone of the um light one anyway so let's go in with light and i prefer the highlighter in the light one so i'm gonna go in with a i heart revolution elf brush i'm just gonna take a tiny amount and then tap it off because this is really pigmented okay i think i might have tapped off too much <laughs> and then i'm gonna tap this on top so this is one side with the powder bronzer and one side without it's definitely made a big difference but you literally need the titchiest tiniest little bit ever so that is the bronzer side applied i don't think i need to go any darker because i'm really bronzed right now and i'm gonna go in with the highlighter on a little i heart revolution brush and just tap off the excess and let's see oh my god what this bad boy is like that is stunning oh holy moly what the okay i'm not gonna lie i would actually buy this compact just for this highlighter <laughs> because that is so intense and like just so me oh and then i'm gonna pop on some of the mascara so this is the big lash reloaded extra volume mascara so this is oh my god it's a big fat one this is what the wand looks like and then let's see Oh god, <laughs> it like really picked up my lash and made it long. I wasn't expecting that then. So let's see what this looks like. I feel like this is actually more lengthening than it is volumizing, to be honest. I don't know if you can see, but I feel like it just is giving me a lot of length. I don't feel like it's giving me much volume. I feel like I've just definitely just got it on my eyeball. <sighs> yeah, for me, it's not my favourite mascara from Revolution, to be honest with you. Um, it wouldn't be one that I would like go out my way and purchase again. I definitely prefer like the Lion King mascara, the Coconut Eye Hat Revolution one. So I literally just had like a two second break from filming and just checked my phone. And I was sending a voice note to Alex and I was like, oh my God, my under, my under eyes are so like itchy because my eyelashes are so long. So on a second thought, although this mascara isn't particularly a good mascara for my top lashes, for my bottom lashes, they ha it's be they've made them so long, and I literally put the tiniest little bit on. And considering it was a big brush, it wasn't really that hard to apply because normally I like that really thin Ardell um, top and bottom lash mascara and the really thin one for underneath. But I was like talking to Alex now. I was like, oh my god, I'm I've got an itchy. I actually said neck. <laughs> I was like, I did not make my eyelashes that long, not to touch my neck, but I meant to say to her. And I corrected myself was I actually had like a really itchy under eye because the lashes are that long. So if you're looking for maybe like a good under eye, under eye, lower lash line mascara brush, mascara, then I would recommend this. I need, I need vodka, never mind a cup of tea. <laughs> but anyways, last but not least, I believe, I think I've made an absolute mess of my table is the lip contour kit i'm so excited to try these to put them on my lips so i don't really know what vibe i want to go for i'm thinking like maybe like queen to tie in with the blusher let's see what queen looks like so it comes with the lip liner oh my god the lip liner and the liquid lipstick why is it not focusing but i feel like i would want this but i feel like i want like a brown lip so i'm actually going to mix I'm going to mix and match. So I'm going to take, let's see what stiletto, stiletto is like. So we can really take it to a lip contour level. I'm going to go in with stiletto. <laughs> oh, hiccups. And I'm actually going to fill quite a lot of the lip in with the darker one. I'm going to put this mainly in Oh, it's not really nice. Mainly in the middle of my lip. And then I'm just going to use my finger to blend. And I think I'm going to finish it off with a gloss. This looks like it's a really bright gloss, but it'll actually go really nice to bring out the pink in the inner part of the lip. So this is from the I Heart Revolution Sleep and Beauty Lip Gloss Little Trio. I'm going to pop that right in the middle. And then that is what it looks like. It's definitely not my best application of... 
a lip product in my whole life. So I'm going to do a quick little roundup now that my makeup is complete. The lip contour kit's absolutely amazing, so pigmented, so easy to use, so easy to apply. I will definitely be getting my use out of them. The fast base contour sticks I really like. I'm definitely more the shade medium than I am fair and light. And obviously I'm quite fair in complexion, so do bear that in mind. The only thing that annoys me is that you don't have the colour on the actual packaging because now I'm never going to know which one is which unless I like get them all out and compare them. These, um, the highlight was really nice. My nose, I just don't think my nose likes to be contoured but then again I think it looks nice here. I think here I absolutely loved it but I think any further down my nose, my nose just doesn't like it. it my nose just refuses to crop cooperate so yeah I probably would just use it more for like this bit and maybe like for my actual eyes themselves but the highlighter I'll definitely get my use out of that um the compact compound the contour compact little things obviously I use the shade light the highlighter is absolutely stunning like absolutely beautiful it, it just blew me away these colors I just don't know if they work best for me I am really 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 fussy when it comes to powder bronzer so I feel like I would probably have to get a bit more of like a use out of it. I'm definitely never really going to use this shade and yeah I just don't know I don't know about the bronzer side of them but yeah the oh my god the blush balm I love it if you're a beginner to like kind of like liquid blushes this is the one to try really really nice it gives me such a glow that even with powder on it still came through it's stunning really really like this the smell oh it smells oh god it's in my nose I'll just blend that in <laughs> <laughs> this smells so good. The baby shades really, really cute. Um, but I do like them anyway. I've got, like, practically... I think I've got every single one of them, basically, now. This changed my life. <laughs> this is the bullet brow. Oh, my God. Go buy it right now, please. Because look at my brows. It took me two seconds. Two seconds. I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. The cream bronzer was oh, so easy to apply. Beautiful. And it gave me a bit more depth than what the contour stick did and then the mascara it just wasn't really for me I think the bottom lashes it's going to be amazing but for my top lashes it just wasn't for me it just wasn't for me simple as that really and I think that's everything from looking at my desk obviously I tried this as well which I've done a video on the sleep and beauty range from I Heart Revolution anyway I'll leave it linked down below but I think that's everything that's on my table Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for my patrons for all your love and support. If you would like to join my beautiful people Patreon, I will leave it linked down below. Thank you so much. Love you so much. And I will see you in another video very, very soon.